morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. We have a surprise. We have a surprise. We have a surprise. You ready? She survived. I'm alive. She's alive. How She's feeling. I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday now. Good. She got some antibiotics and she had a really good sleep last night. So she is up for going out today. Luckily, the places that we're going to aren't big hiking places. I think you can like, yeah, it's just like walking kind of. Anyway, we're going down to breakfast now and then we will head off to Antelope Canyon. Yeah. The sky is now blue. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> let's start that again. The sky is now blue, which means there's no more rain, which means we can go to all the canyons. Yeah. So we're going to all of the canyons. <laughs> um, all of them. We're going to Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, and Grand Canyon. So this is going to be a good day. I'm glad that we are doing it today instead of doing it yesterday because yesterday we could barely see anything. So I'm very excited. Woo! I apologize in advance for the very long vlog, even though I don't know how long it's going to be, but I assume be it will be long. <laughs> Guys, so we got to the canyon and we try to Google as much as possible, but there's no information on how to get in, how much it costs. So we were lining up for about half an hour on the like last two or three o'clock, last two or three o'clock, and we were like worried that that's we're even lucky to jump on that and tour. And we got here at 11, by the way, and we thought we're gonna have to wait till three. And then we got to the front of the line and said, We've had some cancellations for 12. We're leaving in like five minutes and we're like, yes, yes, get us the tickets. Tell them how much it is if they want them. Oh uh, yeah, so it's $40. You have to come here by guide and then you have to pay $8 to like park on the land. So like $48. We just arrived at Antelope Canyon and it is amazing. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Are you ready? Wow. middle of the canyon and it is incredible it just like photos won't do it justice yeah it's, just so it's amazing we're 120 feet down at the moment oh wow there's mr photographer way too many photos <laughs> do you love it though every corner is a photo yeah every time we turn a new corner we're like oh no more photos more photos <laughs> So that's the horns and the chin, and then when you flip it, apparently it's Jesus. So what we're walking through now is, it's called the fire, and I'll show you on the other footage, but it pretty much looks as it's coming through that there's a flame that you're walking through. It's so cool how these are just shaped this way. And it's like, I don't know. It feels like sandy, but nothing's coming off. And this spot just coming up now is called The Wave. So like in the 90s, a National Geographic uh, person took a photo and sold it to like National Geographic. It was all over everywhere. I think it probably put Antelope Canyon on the map. Not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But they called it the million dollar shot because it was just on every single magazine. Alright guys, we made it to the end of the tunnel. What an amazing quarter mile walk. And then it's just a desert. <laughs> like I wonder how they found this. Like because it's literally just, on the way in I was trying to point out saying, oh is it that canyon, that canyon, and then we just came up to this bit. Wouldn't have guessed, but it was incredible. I'm so glad we came here. 
I think this is like the best natural place I've ever visited. And this was on Makes your sense. bucket list. It was on my bucket list, and now I can take it off. It was like in my top five things I've always wanted to see. And it was worth it? Yes. I honestly think that we came at the best time because now this canyon is pitch black. Wow, we literally got the. Uh, the best time slot. I'm so glad. It is a completely different experience. So guys, tip if you want to come 12 o'clock, I think is the best time to do it. Because you get the light shards coming through, a lot of the canyon is lit up, so it's red. Put that on your bucket list, no questions asked. Tell them they have to come at 12. Have to come at 12. You have to get Lala, because she is the excellent tour guide. <laughs> Antelope Canyon and now we're heading to Paige for some lunch because we are starving. It is currently around 1.40 p.m. Um, after lunch we're then going to go to Horseshoe Bend and then we're going to make our way to the Grand Canyon. This is a really cool store. So we came for lunch, we got some Subway and then we saw this fish and chip store called Nemo's. I was in <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> Nothing. The chips look really good though. Look at that. Yum. Finally some good chips. Yeah, is it weird that I put pepper on my chips? Yeah. We just arrived at Horseshoe Bend and it looks like we're at the beach because in Australia you have these big um, sand dunes and then on the other side there's a beach. So it looks like we're walking to the beach. Excited to go have a swim? At the beach? Yeah. But it's not a beach. Oh, they don't know that yet. Yeah. It was about a nine minute drive from the town, so from it's really Page. close. From Page, yes, yeah. we're in Page. Um, but I'm excited to see what this view looks like at the top of the top of the hill. It even has sand like the beach. See, someone's in Struggle Town. There he is. Well, Struggle Town from the wall. We had so much to eat for lunch, and then we went to Safeway and just got four ice creams for two dollars fifty. I, I had to do it. It was a good deal. I love ice cream. I didn't need it, but you had it. Do you reckon it feels like you're walking up the dunes to the beach with the sand? Yeah, it does. This bit here reminds me of Australia. Yeah, it does. Except our sand is white, not brown. I mean, orange. Oh my gosh, this is a steep hill. So we thought it was going to be just at the top of the hill. And it's not. we're at the top of the hill, and it's not on top of the hill. Whoa, guys, I have to show you the view, it's amazing. Sarah's right on the edge. Are you ready? Yeah. Wow. That's so crazy. Look how much on the edge we are. <laughs> Steve, how amazing is it? Oh, so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. It was so scary going on the edge. <laughs> photo I've seen I've always thought they like photoshopped it and I never expect, um, expected it to be so big. It is huge. It is blue and green and it is just so pretty. You have to see it like if you're going on a road trip through Arizona you have to get a Horseshoe Bend and Antelope Canyon. This is incredible. It's like a short walk. Oh yeah it's not that long. It was not nowhere near as bad as when we went to the Arches. That was a hard walk. This is like maybe 500 meters? I was trying to guess 500 meters. Is this because you have to go up a bit of a, of a hill? But Steven's just been taking a jillion photos. Did you expect it to look like this amazing? I have 130 gigabytes on here and have to keep deleting photos from like a few days ago because we've overtaken. It's so cool. I can't get over it. Now we're going to the Grand Canyon, so hopefully that is even more amazing. I, I reckon this blew my mind. Yes. I love how there's water. I want to go like swimming down there. <laughs> some sort of justice. You have to see it for yourself, it's so cool. Because we've seen photos and we thought it looks small, it's been photoshopped. 
Yeah, I always thought the colours were photoshopped. And you see it's like actually greens and blues in the water. We're back in the car now and we realised that it was going to take us up until almost 7 o'clock to get to the Grand Canyon. So instead we're going to head back home, yeah, back to Flagstaff and we're going to go to Grand, and we're going to be going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow morning instead before we head down to Vegas. And I'm feeling pretty tired. Are you guys feeling pretty tired? Yeah. yeah. From the heat as well. And it is, well, we won't get home till 6.30. So, yeah. Gotta have a nap. While Stephen drives. Can I have a nap? <laughs> We are back home now, currently transferring all our photos and footage onto the computer and it's taking ages because we took way much, way too much footage and photos of these canyons and stuff. And so while we're waiting, we're going to go downstairs and just go into the spa for a bit while we wait. So I'm going to head down there and meet them there and then we'll work out what we're going to have for dinner because I have no idea what we're going to have. So we thought our motel would have a toaster, but it doesn't. There's a toaster in like the reception, so the girls have sent me on Pop-Tart mission. We've never had a Pop-Tart before, so we got s'mores Pop-Tarts. I didn't have a toaster we could use. We microwaved it. Thank you. Alright guys, uh, we're going to bed now, so thanks for watching. Tomorrow we are arriving in Vegas. But, but first of all, we will be going to the Grand Canyon because we did promise to go to there today, but it was just so busy. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.